Today we will see a few more examples related to linear symmetry and rotational symmetry. Rahul and Manisha were discussing the figure shown below. Rahul believed that in this figure there are two symmetrical lines and rotational symmetry of order 12. But Manisha believed that there are six symmetrical lines in this figure and rotational symmetry of order 6. Find out whether Rahul's understanding is correct or Manisha's. Here Rahul definitely has drawn a vertical line of symmetry and a horizontal line of symmetry and thought that the figure had two symmetrical lines. Rahul had forgot to draw more symmetrical lines. Similarly, all the corners must be counted by him, which is 12. And it must be understood that there are 12 corners. So the order of rotational symmetry will also be 12. This is also a misunderstanding. So we can say that Rahul's understanding is wrong. You may remember that if two parts of the shape become coincident, when the shape is folded along a line, then there is linear symmetry and that line is called a symmetrical line. You can draw a symmetrical line in this shape. First in this way, second in this way, the third in this way, fourth in this way, fifth in this way, and sixth in this way. No more symmetrical lines can be drawn in it. So we can say that the figure has six symmetrical lines. To check for rotational symmetry, we will draw a point on the circle. Keep in mind that this point is not the part of the shape. You will also remember that if the shape rotates and it looks like before, then the shape has rotational symmetry. In a complete turn of 360 degree, the number of times an object looks exactly the same is called the order of rotational symmetry. Here, after rotating this shape at 6 angles like 60 degree, 120 degree, 180 degree, 240 degree, 300 degree, 360 degree etc. Rotational symmetry appears. In this way, we can say that this figure has a rotational symmetry of order 6. From this, we can now say that Manisha's understanding is correct. Example 2 Complete the table given below. A horizontal line going from the middle of the letter C of the English alphabet divides it into two parts so that the upper half and the bottom half are the mirror image of each other. Therefore, we can say that it is a symmetrical line. Other than this, no symmetrical line can be drawn on C. So, we can say that C has only one symmetrical line. Similarly, we rotate C. We see that only once on a rotation of 360 degree, we see the same shape as before. So we can say that C has rotational symmetry of order 1. Similarly, you fill the row of N yourself. Now, look at this shape of the third row. Can we draw a symmetrical line in it? Think, think.
All right. No symmetrical lines can be drawn. So the number of symmetric lines in this figure is zero. Similarly, if we rotate this shape at an angle of 120 degree, 240 degree and 360 degree, we get the same shape as before. Since during the rotation, we can see three times the figure appears as before. So we can say that this figure has rotational symmetry of order 3. Now complete the table yourself for all the given shapes. So today we have seen a few more examples related to linear symmetry and rotational symmetry.